Oh, welcome back my gardening friends. Well, we're on plot one, Mrs. K's plot. And as uh, we walk up, uh, it's in a mess in a fashion, if you know what I'm saying. Here's some of the soil that we got out of one of the metal raised beds from Vajiga, which is now situated over there. I did mention in a previous blog that I thought they were going rusty. It was just staining actually. So quite impressed with the, those. There's the large pallet collar beds that were up there where we found the 1200 litres of unscrupulously dumped uh, cannabis compost. So I'll pop that there for now and I can grab a bag as and when I want them. My potatoes have had to move up because eventually I'm removing all these beds. I, I put these in and don't think, well, how am I going to get the wheelbarrow around there? When my uh, raspberry uh, double wiggle finger, Mandamu, when my raspberries were there, I struggled to get up there and up here and turn the corner. So these new beds here will be doubled up. So these here will be placed here then that will give me enough area to get round to the manure bin and it'll give me an extra half a meter here instead of bumping and banging etc but now I'll be able to get round I'll talk about that in a moment plenty of room to get to my manure bin this is the aged manure probably 12 month old the other side is the fresh now, talking absolutely rubbish again guys this is the fresh manure the other side is the aged manure this has probably been in here over 12 months still sopping wet and still giving me uh, plenty of uh, the uh, black gold the runoff so if you've got a pile of manure all those liquids would normally drop into the ground so I'll use those liquids and I can add them to the beds in spring this has been layered up with several items, uh, all for free. Uh, pallet collars have been lined from here down. And then I'll put another one on top because I do get issues where the weight of the soil in a new bed drags that polythene down. Similar to this bed on plot three. So what I used to do was a full length of plastic all the way down. And as you could imagine, the plastic gets caught and has all the organic materials and worms do their work it sinks and it drags the plastic with it so hoping that this will work i'll empty this bed so far down put another piece in sift this top some other beds up etc and hopefully i can leave them alone in a few years time to be completely no dig i used to just trim these right back to the top i'd do that but it just stopped me from letting stuff go down the sides i refrain from doing that because any moisture that's in those pallets collars can't escape if you do that and then it just rots here on the top so i'll leave it open and any moisture that does get through towards the bottom can be wood really good at protecting itself but we just have to give it a helping hand when we dump wet materials in there. So these have had two layers of manure, all the soil, and remember that hole that we uh, looked at just around the corner? I've dug all the soil out, and it's gone in either this one, that one, or the Vajiga bed down there. So, we'll add. 40 litres of the cocoa, cocoa corifer and like I said I don't think this was a very good grow because those roots that we took out in a previous video I'll see a bit of green tag they all scream it's over there so I'll do the same to the next one 
But those cloth bags I'll be using for my potatoes next year. One of my viewers said that these only cost about five, six pounds. I, I said 10 and 10 for the cocoa koi, 20 pound in total. And if they can grow a plant and earn a thousand pound off it, no wonder they throw it away, but that's lovely stuff. No wonder these pots disappear when I put them out on our allotment recycling site. So the two previous manure layers were the fresh-ish. This is uh, semi-rotted. I started off with 10 red wrigglers from my original compost bin when I started talking to people. And I must have bred hundreds of thousands. <coughs> just absolutely love the manure and they're doing a, a cracking job and even when the bed's spent out they can crawl over the edges and go into the wood chips so this is the last layer now hopefully the worms will be happy i built these up in layers over days because if you do it all in once don't forget those poor worms if you bury a worm and pat it down, sometimes they uh, just can't uh, can't cope. Shan't touch the screen with these, he says. Let's get the other one done, and then the next layer. And please remember, it's the worms that are going to be doing the digging for us, creating uh, the aeration. drainage and they're the ones that are going to be dragging the future layers of manure etc down to where our plants need it plastic stone more oh, oh, pottery I bet you find more rubbish in your bought compost than homemade compost. This is out of one of the top out of the beds that I've moved. The gloves off. Do I really need to do this? Probably not. But keeping this flat, when I add the covers to these for the winter, to protect the worms, protect the soil. We don't want everything washing away too quickly. Hopefully it'll sit on there all right. So the first one we're gonna use is some three year old or two year old leaf mold. I think it could be three years now. Didn't collect any leaves last year at all. My body wouldn't let me. The wrong old walk, but this is nature's way of protecting the soil. If the tree drops its leaves, the weeds can't grow, then there's no competition. <clears throat> Some of this material's broke down quite nice. I do sift it. The top materials I do remove and either sift twigs to stay on, sift it, reuse it, or pop it into another bed. But I'm not covering this with cardboard or anything, we'll just let nature do its thing with all the other methods. We'll see what happens. And the next one. Is the sheep's wool. I've saved some of this, some of the best stuff for the, uh, the birds in the spring. This cost me £20, I think there's 10 fleeces, so it's a couple of quid a fleece. So if that's a fleece, it's costing me a couple of quid. It's just an experiment. It's quite quirky. A 
couple of pounds. You probably need about 30, 40 litres to top these beds off, so that's six pounds worth of compost. I see people do it regularly. So two pound for this really is uh, not a bargain, but it's just something different to compost. The lady at the farm, I think they only get 50 pence a fleece, so she's on a winner. I uh, don't put it on the floor and get wood chips on it or leaf mould. And of course if Mrs K kicks me out, I can wrap yourself up in it. No I wouldn't guys, it stinks. The dog goes absolutely mad when I go home. Nope, we'll save that bit. And just to give it added protection. Bits of wood, just to stop it from uh, flying away. This has been quite windy and the weather. It's just absolutely ridiculous. There we go. And the birds can help themselves then as well. In the spring. So that's those two beds done, they will sink majorly but then we can just keep adding up with manure each fall cover it up let the worms do the work we're protecting the worms by covering the manure etc because the birds will take our worms we don't mind sharing but uh, they've got to be uh, not to be greedy so there's where we've uh, taken the manure out Manure. Oh dear me, I'm not having a good day today guys. But I dug all the soil out, so all the soil's gone from where the summer fruiting raspberries were. And now we've got uh, a better area to come round. And some beds that are in the shade. Hopefully I can forget about those now, till the spring. So I've got one bag left from the Vajiga bed. And this soil compost that was in the large pallet collar that we set in this corner. 1100 litres of uh, compost to add to, to these beds. But of course I've got more new collars or second hand collars plus these here. So I should be starting those new ones off and then adding the others but this compost here was sifted and these are going into the uh, polytunnel on uh, plot three uh, in the uh, polytunnel i can't from for why why i didn't put these in here in the first place i might get three of those maybe in here and what i will do is pop some walking boards along there not much room really but the tomatoes and cucumbers are doing re really well in here the vajiga beds in here and uh, cucumbers are still coming guys really having some uh, cracking crops if you've uh, liked the content give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down for the interaction please leave me a comment Share what you do so I can learn, so my viewers can learn. Join in with those comments, give those comments a thumbs up and uh, get the conversation going. And why not consider subscribing? Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Ta for now. And for those that have stayed to the end, a little bit of news about Mrs. K. Uh, she's seeing a consultant uh, next week. Hopefully the CT scan will have showed some good results. She had, she was originally going to have three chemos. They went to the maximum of six, seven of what she's having would uh, finish her off. So she's on the, she's done the sixth one, got through that three or four days, not feeling great, but 
if the CT scan shows uh, good results, uh, they may consider uh, surgery. So, fingers crossed. Drop a heart in the comments, guys, for those that stop to the end. Don't actually say anything, just put the heart, because I don't want people going to the end who, do, who just normally watch the first few minutes. Take care, my friends. Till next time. Love to you all. And thank you for the kind comments and words of encouragement.